Hi, everybody. Welcome to uh, step one. Um, we're going to talk about what the onboarding process is, what is onboarding. Uh, so uh, in the intro before this, the overview, I was talking about there's different uh, methods to onboarding, there's different processes, but um, just to give you an understanding of why onboarding is so important as a host for you to have a plan um, for onboarding your members. Um, and I'm using the calm method here just to go through that. Um, it gives your members clarity and yourself clarity. So sharing um, in either written form or in a video or during your welcome live event um, or emails that you send out, you're always wanting to connect with them in a way that feels personal since it's a community about people, you know, with people. And, and so that they feel like it's a safe space and they know, you know, where they can find content. They know maybe, you know, when things are happening. So uh, sharing events with them, um, you know, con connecting with them in a way that they understand exactly what they're doing, why they joined, what they're doing in the membership, uh, what benefits and how they can contribute. So they're going to be really focused on that for the clarity part. So that's one component of why the onboarding process is so important. Clarity for yourself, clarity for your members. Um, and that's just like going into, you know, when you did the discovery or the ideal member interviews, you've talked to those people. They've given you some feedback about maybe how they learn. Are they interested in videos or do they want just written content or do they want resources to be able to, to search? Those are things that you discover in the discovery section or the yeah, ideal member section as far as like how people are interested in participating in your space. Okay, so awareness is the next one. So after I just talked about the discovery process that so your ideal member, you've already talked to some people. And so awareness is like you're using their language, take notes, use their language, uh, pay attention to what they're saying about, you know, the topics of what your community is about, and how they can um, navigate, maybe they need a place to start or a roadmap for success. So if that's something that you're learning as you test out like a beta test with when you do your first, your um, soft launch, which we talked about in the other guide of launching your money network. Um, when you're doing your soft launch, you're like in the testing beta phase. Um, and from that information, you can understand and have awareness around how your onboarding process is working, what improvements you need to make. So that goes into learning. So um, after you've already had your clarity, you've talked to your members that you've onboarded them, you're learning what was helpful and what they need support in. Maybe they need some guidance in navigation as far as like, where do I start? Um, and so that means maybe you'd have to uh, implement, a, you know, a start here post, or maybe you're actually creating a mini course, like maybe you create a mini, uh, mini guide or mini course to something, be, you know, that's free. So mini course to your community. I mean, you, there's a lot of different ideas that you can do. Uh, and we'll talk about those in other sections. But I just wanted to give you the idea of um, why an onboarding process is so important, because it not only gives clarity to you and your members, it allows you to be aware of what they want and what you want, you know, as a host, and then learning from that experience to be able to then put things into motion is the next uh, from the calm method. So just being able to modify and change and like be open to, you know, just learning what's going on and, and in this testing phase in the very beginning of when you're creating your onboarding process. And then even as you're, you know, reviewing an onboarding, I recommend to my network hosts that they review their onboarding process every 30, 60, 90 days, whatever seems appropriate to them. Um, but I definitely think, you know, every quarter it's it should be like you should be looking at the members that are interacting, who isn't interacting, and then reaching out to the members that are interacting to find out um, why they're not interacting. And then also um, 
to talk to the members that are interacting and find out what's important to them to keep improving on what is already working for you. So those are things we're going to talk about in later sections, but I just wanted to give you an overview of why um, onboarding is um, important and, and for you as a host to have a plan that you can put into place. And it also allows you then, once you have an onboarding plan, it also helps you be able to put tasks to an assistant or if you have a team um, or later when you do have a team, if you're just a team of one right now, which many of us are, later you can actually have a step-by-step -step process for somebody else. So always thinking about like, okay, how is this gonna be scalable and, and growable but the onboarding process, the biggest reason, and I'll just make sure I'm not missing this point. If you start with a great onboarding process for your members, they will stay. They will stay and they will be excited to be a part of this amazing space. If this is the foundational step. And so it's really hard to like get people to come back if you've like lost their interest. So I think onboarding is one of the most important things that you can do as a Mighty Network host to ensure you have success. Um, there's some additional resources here. Uh, there's a book and an article. There's lots of other articles. So if you're interested in like, I didn't want to overwhelm people with more resources. <laughs> so if you are interested in, um, you know, looking at different onboarding processes. I'm not, you know, the, the end all be all is not the way I'm, you know, there's lots of ways to do this. So, and it's the community building in industry is really going in through a, a big change right now. So this could be, you know, different in all parts of aspects of different businesses and business styles. So just keeping in mind, if you do have interest in um, searching out other resources, there's lots on the internet about onboarding and why it's important. Um, and we will move to our next step.